High unemployment, many Americans find themselves in a mental rut every once in a while. But apparently there is an easy way out of it from a man who's worked with countless business executives and entrepreneurs. Yeah, Tommy Newberry's new book is called 40 Days to a Joy-Filled Life. It says it's all about how you think and, uh, and, and what you do. So nice to see you this morning, Tommy. Nice to welcome to the show. So 40 days to a joy-filled life. It seems like a tall order to have pulled that off in just 40 days. Well, it is, but you can at least get a head start. And, you know, with, with so many people down and discouraged and a lot of people feeling defeated, um, some have even downgraded their dreams for their future. You know, we hear about downgrading, you know, the credit, but downgrading your dreams is a lot tougher yeah. thing. So there's a nugget in the, uh, in the New Testament, Philippians 4.8, uh, that says, focus on what's lovely, pure, true, mm -hmm. gracious, just. If there's any excellence, anything worthy of praise, think on these things. So if we use that verse as a filter uh, for what we think about, what we speak, what we do, we start experiencing more joy because... And, and we kind of know what is noble, don't we? Yeah. Deep we down do, inside. We do. We do. You know, the things that are, uh, that are positive, that give us inspiration, that mm -hmm. give us faith, that make us look forward. And you are what you attract, right? So if you focus on the negative, you're going to attract more negativity in your life. You focus on the positive. You yeah. And it's, be it's because whatever you start paying attention to, you tend to notice more of. Yeah, yeah. So if you focus on your spouse's flaws, you'll start to notice more flaws. If you focus on what, what you don't like about your work, right. you'll start noticing more things you don't like about your work. So you have some tips for people and you say that there are three questions that you should ask yourself every day. The first one is what am I most grateful for? How does that help? Well it shifts your attention from uh, your blunders maybe to your blessings and the more that you focus on your blessings uh, the more blessings that you'll notice the more relational you'll be with others the uh, more you'll see the good in other people around you and uh, in business for example the more opportunities you'll see yeah I was re reading in your book that you say just recognize what your strengths are you know and then run with them that's right I mean you're good at certain things for a reason and our school systems are set up to a large degree to make you good at everything. Mm -hmm. uh, but most people find pleasure when they're doing what, what God made them to do day in and day out. I mean, half of your waking hours conceivably are going to be your, your, your living. That's right. So if you're just sort of blah about that, that's sort of unacceptable. And that'll take away from your joy for sure. A lot of people derive joy from doing things that they're passion, passionate about, whether it's painting or they enjoy gardening or photography or something like that. You say looking at those things and trying to do more of those in the next 90 days. Absolutely, and particularly in the, in the next 40 days, if you can't get the, all the enjoyment you want from your work, then after work and on the weekends, find the things that you can throw your, your heart into. And this doesn't mean you wait to get the job that you're absolutely passionate about if you're out of work. You find a job and then you try to make the best of it and then over time work yourself into a position where you love what you do because that's probably where you can make the greatest it's difference. It's such a good book. Is the 40 days a little biblical too? Uh, it is. Well, yeah. I mean, there's, very, there's great spiritual significance. You know, Jesus was tempted the right. most probably in the 40 days in the desert. Mm -hmm. Noah, the flood, yep. 40 days. Um, so 40 days is long enough to make a difference. But it's not so long, like 90 days or six months or a year, you can see the finish line from the starting line. And that's why it's really yeah. helpful. And probably takes about that long to work a habit uh, into your life anyway. Tommy, Excellent. congratulations on the book. Thank you very much. Yeah, Tommy really Newberry, good. author of 40 Days to a Joy-Filled Life. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. We're starting it right here. And now. Let's go. You're going to follow your passion and do more Star Wars stuff? Right. That's All right. right. Okay, starting now.